Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this video, I'm going to explain how to install Visual Studio 2022. Let's get started. Open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio 2022 download. And you can notice here, the first result is visualstudio.microsoft.com. This is the official website. Click on this. And once you go here, you will see here, when you scroll down, you'll see here, download Visual Studio. So now you can see this community community edition, professional edition, and enterprise edition. So the installation steps remains the same for any of these versions. So Visual Studio community is free. So I'm going to select this. And uh, now you can see that the download just started. Now the download is done. So now I'll go back, click on show in folder. It just installed a small file and on the fly, it will download and install. Let me double click on this. And you can see there, the pop-up click on yes. And now it is going to install Visual Studio installer. Now click on continue. And it's not installing the actual Visual Studio. It is installing the Visual Studio installer using which we can select the options. Now it's installing Visual Studio installer and you can see it's almost almost there. And remember, this is not Visual Studio software in, which is getting installed right now. Visual Studio Installer. Now, Visual Studio Installer is done. It just opened a pop-up. Now here, you can select which options you need in Visual Studio. Let's take you want to develop ASP.NET Web Application, ASP.NET and Web Development, select this. And you want Python Development, select this. Azure Development, click on this. And normally, most of the projects will have ASP.NET and Web Development and also Azure to some extent, and .NET Desktop Development. So these are the most frequently used ones. And let me scroll down a little bit. And for now, I'm not selecting these options. Uh, if your project requires, you can select these options as well. And Game Development, Unity Development, you have to select this. I'm not selecting right now. And Data Science Projects and uh, Data Storage and Processing, so you can select these options. So for now, the most frequently used ones, which are like .NET Desktop Development, ASP.NET and Web Development and Azure Development I have selected and I click on Install. Now, depending on your internet speed, it may take uh, time. So you can see here, first it's going to download, starting download operation and it may take some time. Now, in case if you want, so while that's getting downloaded, so it's almost, it has to download 2.7 GB. So 2.7 GB it has to download. In case if you want to check how much time it's going to take to download, so you can quickly open app and you can search for, you can open speed test and you can see uh, speedtest.net, which will tell you your internet speed. So I click on go and it'll tell you the your internet speed, uh, your download and upload speed. So you can see my current internet speed is almost like around 10 to 12 Mbps. So depending on the internet speed, it may take, so you can see almost like 15 Mbps. So anyway, let me close this up. So based on my internet speed, see here, so almost 155 MB is done. So it may take a while. So 15 Mbps per second, it's taking for me 15 MB per second. So I can just show you how much time it's going to take. So total you have 2.7 GB. So 2.7 point seven into one zero two four so almost like twenty two seven six four MB so per second it's downloading fifteen MB so it's going to take that many seconds to download and if you want to see minutes so it might take around sixty so ideally it should take three minutes but yeah maybe my calculation went wrong Anyway, so it's downloading, um, right now it's downloading and then parallel it's installing as well. So let's see how much time it's going to take. So I'll just pause the recording. I mean, I'll just pause the recording while it's downloading. You can see that download is done for me. So it almost took around uh, 10 to 15 minutes for me to complete the download. So it might vary depending on your internet speed. It may be in less time or it might be more time. Now you can see there it's installing the packages, almost 78% done. 
installation is almost done 99% it's finishing up the installation and you can see here almost 99% installation is done just finishing up it's taking some time to finish up almost done and it's just opening the installation Visual Studio 2022 and you can see here so for the first time you can uh, you need to sign into hotmail account in case if you don't have hotmail account you can simply create one so all you have to do is uh, click on sign in if you have hotmail account if you don't have click on create one and create a hotmail or outlook account it's free so i have hotmail account so i click on sign in and here i'm going to enter my hotmail account and click on next if you don't have just create one and sign in so it's asking to enter the password just enter the password and I clicked on sign in so it's taking me to sign in page and once you sign in it's all free and you can actually so you can see there it's just signed in and it's showing uh, preparing for the first time use and done so now you can see here we're just opening Visual Studio and uh, now I can just maximize it. So we're done with installing Visual Studio. Now I'll just close it and show you how to open from the command prompt. So I'm just closing this installer as well because I'm done with this. Let me close this. So I'm closing all. So now I'm done with installing Visual Studio. Now click on start and just type Visual Studio and you'll find here Visual Studio 2022. So click on that and I'm opening now Visual Studio 2022 and here if you want to create some project so for now you can click on continue without code and here you can see the home page of Visual Studio so now you can select file new project and you can select the template that you want so you can select console application you can select um, any application that you want right so you can select here languages so I want C sharp and I can select here uh, maybe web application so Windows or Android application so you can select which platform so I want to select Windows platform and I can select the project type here whether you want console application or desktop application or you can select here so I'm going to select console application and I can select here so console app console app using dotnet framework so this so I'm going to select for now console application dotnet framework click on next and let's see a simple hello world so I'm just typing here hello world app and click on create and I'll type a sim I'll type a simple line and then I'll execute it. Let's see if I can see the output. So you can see here a simple hello world.net app. I'm going to write here console.write line. You can see the IntelliSense is also working. And I'll write here hello world make not here. Semicolon I'll put it. So let me put the semicolon and all set. Let's run the project. And it's just taking time to run the application and you will see the output so output just got disappeared so I'm going to select this here so let me click on debug and start without be debugging I'll see the output so you can see here hello world make not here so with this we are done with installing Visual Studio 2022 I've done a simple console application and you can also see the license of this so when you go to help about Visual Studio Microsoft Visual Studio and you will see that the license status click on license status you can see it is uh, the license is given to magna.hotmail.com so that's my email and it's uh, community 2022 so it's free for learning purpose and you can see the class uh, which you can use it so visual studio community is free for 
uh, learning projects. If you want to learn C Sharp or Visual Studio, you want to understand more about it, you can freely use it. Okay. So thank you guys. I hope you are clear with installing Visual Studio community. Thank you.